Hello, Jato Daniel here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the part three of the uh, the small trailer build for the Peach ATV. Uh, I can show you what I've done so far again. Uh, this time you can see uh, the trailer itself with the uh, wheels, uh, everything on. Uh, I just uh, put it there so I can just I wanted to uh, feel and uh, feel and see how the suspension would work after everything was done and it works uh, fine. Uh, one thing I just had to make sure of was uh, that inner little uh, M3 nut, the ordinary one. I had to make sure that it was a, a gap enough, a big between that uh, nut and the this little uh, aluminum plate, uh, so uh, so the wheel could uh, work even sideways or not just not uh, up and down at the same time, because uh, earlier was a little bit too close to this uh, plate, and that made made the it got stuck so when I tried to to use just one suspension at a time side inside, but uh, now it works uh, great so. So that's one done, and I'm gonna take this apart again. This just for just for show, uh, because I'm, of course I'm gonna uh, paint uh, both, both the trailer and the and these uh, wheel holders uh, in different colors and things. So uh, so because of the painting job, I have to take it all apart later. Uh, I've also uh, made this uh, the for the uh, pulling device. It's not uh, quite done yet. Uh, it's more to go here. Uh, I can show you what I've also done yesterday. You have seen in part one uh, the jack uh, jacket wheel I did, and uh, but uh, yesterday I also made the the jacket wheel uh, clamp for it. So and it also works, of course, for real like the. Like the bigger religion ones, you can release this little handle here uh, counterclockwise, and because I can just to be sure, as you can see, it's not going anywhere for now. But as the real ones, I can, if I turn the handle here counterclockwise on losing it, uh, or to do with one finger because it's. There, now it releases this enough, I think. Just... Uh, there, now. Now I can, as you can see, it fall down. falls down because it is loosened up. So, just like real... Let's see if we can put it... If we can... I have to... There. Okay, now it's up again, and you can turn it uh, clockwise to make it stick again. Uh, that's enough. So now we can see it not falling down. So I'm quite happy with that. And I also made the tube, uh, aluminum tube piece, uh, to be attached to it. Because this aluminum tube, I'm gonna glue right here. I have to, just to show you uh, this on the, this side again. Hope I can show you with one hand because I'm holding the phone in the other. This is gonna be attached here. Um, just right between here and glued and glued here with uh, uh, metal epoxy so and and uh, the holes uh, for for that are made in the tube for to screw, screw this on in place uh, it's not quite so straight I wanted it, but but it's not gonna show afterwards anyway because when this is glued here uh, I'm gonna cover it above here and all the way here with a triangle formed aluminum piece, uh, both up above and under. So you're not gonna you're gonna see the nuts or, or this uh, 
faulty holes anyway. And from the inside, you can't see them so much either that it's not good as I wanted it. Uh, the, the, most of the other screws and things are covered up and you don't look so close. Uh, but maybe you can see I have to, to make it more straight, uh, this hole had to be uh, a little larger than it was supposed to be in M2 because uh, so so he, the whole clamp device could be to be uh, screwed straight on uh, on the tube here so but uh, um, it could have been better but uh, this is this is working anyway not it's not gonna uh, be shown anyway so so uh, I've also done uh, I'm gonna put this on the side also made the fenders ready for painting um, let's see as I take the right that was not the right side uh, this one is uh, this is for the left side uh, seen from behind um, and the, what I had to do was I had to cut a, a square grew here because this M3 nut is in the way otherwise uh, and this nut is was hold the screw in place for the suspension inside here so to make the fender be able to to glue uh, just straight ab straight above the wheel I had to cut out that groove but uh, it works fine now this is good so both fenders are ready for painting I also made uh, Yesterday in the evening, I cut out uh, mud guards of a very thin rubber uh, made for uh, you fix uh, for fixing uh, flat tires on bicycles and etc. Uh, perfect for to I think for this. So this is also going to be glued right here. I think it was uh, yeah somewhere here maybe when it's done. And I think it's gonna look good. So, two two of these exactly cut out yesterday. Um, I think that was it. I can show you for now that I've done. So uh, as I said before, I have more to do with it comes to the uh, the 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 pulling device system here. Uh, I have to uh, the rest of it is have to be attached under. Here instead of above because when this is uh, straight and stands in the right high position here this is too high for the ATV actually so uh, because of, so, so that pulling uh, system device is too low for this I have to have this mounted under hope you can understand what I mean so but uh, I'm gonna work on that and uh, glue the tube in place and and uh, yeah and etc. So, but uh, we have seen what I've uh, how far I've come so far. I uh, hope you find it interesting and uh, uh, hope you're going to see you next video. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching.